Well, hi everybody. Well, today on this icy, icy, frosty, cold day, I've decided I'm making cocoa waffles. You, you want to make sure you eat something that's warm. You don't want to eat anything too cold on this freezing cold day. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to take my magical sifter. Let me go here. Grab my sifter. It's right here. Even my sifter feels cold. Everything feels cold. Today. One in one half cups of all-purpose flour. Here we go. It's always good to sift your flour, folks. It really is. It makes it come out a lot better. Here we go. You want to get all those lumps and bumps out of your flour. You don't want to have anything lumps in there. You, you want your waffle to be really nice, tasty, smooth, you know. We had 14 degrees this morning, folks. It's simply how cold it was. You really cannot believe it. It was so cold. I'm now adding a three teaspoons of baking powder. Well, we have to look at the bright side. It will be spring eventually. One. Two, three. Yeah, I can't believe how cold it is. I literally, our waterfall is like an ice fall. It's so cold out there. It's like, it's really horrible out there. Ugh. A half a cup of cocoa. Use Hoshi's cocoa. You want to treat yourself when it's cold outside, folks. You really do. You don't know. Oh, this one hasn't been open yet, but that's not a problem. I'm going to get it open right now. Here we go. Here we go. I said, I'm trying to warm myself up as best as I can. Well, we have some good news. It's supposed to go up to 37 tomorrow, so hopefully some of it will melt a little bit. We had snow, which was nice, but then we ended up with freezing rain. Now, what I want to do now is I want to whisk this together. When you get freezing rain, folks, it's not good. Let me tell you, it's not good. Whisk, whisk, whisk. So it's all mixed together. Then we're going to go to the next step. I'm going to get my other bowl. I'm mixing it in two separate bowls. Here we go. Two eggs. Make sure we have everything going. And I'm adding in my sugar. A long, long time ago, I forgot to add in my sugar, folks, and it tasted horrible, so we don't ever want that to happen again. I'm also adding in a half a cup of sugar. Make sure the cocoa is out of going to have to go into my sugar. I use my sugar for a lot of stuff in this house. Okay. Okay. Amber. White Amber? I gotta get that sugar. And Nala. There we go. Sugar. One half cup of sugar. You don't add your sugar in, folks. I'm telling you, it will not come out at all. It will taste really horrible. So I'm going to get to my milk in a minute. Mix it together. And add in a cup of milk. I think, did I say half a cup of milk? Yeah, one cup of milk. You want to make sure you have enough milk in here. Half a cup will not do it. And here we go. A little bit more because I spilled a little bit. My hands do not operate too well when it's 14 degrees out. Okay, mix this together before we add in the dry. Here we go. Now the dry is going in here. Now if it's too uh, dry or whatever, you might have to add another half a cup of milk. Let's hope not. Mix, mix, mix. Here we go. Got to keep mixing. I was talking to little Amber before. She's old. She's 14 years old. And she was looking at the other door. And I said, Amber, you, my daughter, you're going to become a popsicle cat. You become a popsicle. I even heard about Niagara Falls frozen. Florida is like 40 degrees. It's a very unusual cold article as it came to the whole country. It's called frozen America. Okay. Now this is good consistency batter. Now we're going to put it on a waffle. Make sure you grease your waffle line, folks, with butter. You don't want anything sticking. Here we go, and we'll be back in about five minutes and we'll have a delicious, wonderful, wonderful warm meal. Just one meal to eat today on this freezing cold day today. We're gonna put on some powdered sugar to treat you have. A lot of schools, even, I don't think a lot of schools were even open today because it's, the roads are so bad. Well, let's hope for warmer weather coming up shortly. I'm gonna put a little bit of maple syrup in the middle. 
Oh, folks, if you ever get a cold day below 30, let's say around in the low 20s, make sure you, you have water dripping all night. You're going to get frozen pipes. The water keeps the pipes warm. From Deborah Ray's Home Country Kitchen, it's frosty cold, freezing cold winter. They have a great day. Please subscribe to my wonderful YouTube channel.